Welcome to Thinking Particle 6 Subscription Drop 2. In this feature video, we will show you how to create a rotor wash effect and how to assign the colors from the ground surface to our atmospheric effect. Rotor wash is now a trend on the internet and many users do it to test their fluid solvers. And so do we. But before we show the scene, let's have a look at the test we did here. So we have this beautiful helicopter with this spinning propeller here, very realistic. And we see our dust um, blown up into the air. And you can also see when you look close to this uh, video that the dust picks up the color of the surface. So the ground color is taken for our atmospheric dust particles. And as you can see here in the animation, when we animate the colors, it really takes the ground color. And that makes it really a powerful tool and very flexible in special effects. Let's have a look at the scene setup. How did we do that? We use the intersect node to intersect our ground plane and create a particle at each intersect point. From the intersect, we take the texture map color. So that's how we get the color from the surface and we assign this color through our position born operator. We assign each color we pick up at the intersect point. We assign this color to a particle and store it in a data channel. Our atmospheric render effect is able to pick up this color channel and use it as an atmospheric color. So that's uh, practically the whole setup here. That there's a normal position born going on with particles born. And as I said, at the intersect point, we create particles. Then we need some dynamic effects. We need to simulate the spinning propeller of the helicopter. We do that. We have a downward force. We have a sideward force. So all this is pretty basic stuff and uh, really simple to do in thinking particles. In the next uh, dynamic set, here we do the magic. We do our, we use our new smoke solver and we assign all the properties we want to have for our smoke fluid or dust fluid in this uh, case and situation. Now let's have a look how this scene uh, works in the modeling viewport. The first thing you notice is you get instant feedback and the simulation just plays in real time in the viewport. This is possible because Thinking Particles uses a purely particle-based approach with Wartons and it uses a grid to stabilize and speed up the render calculation. So what you get is a real true hybrid approach to smoke fluid dynamics in 3D Studio Max. Next thing is how do we render this stuff? Rendering fluid effects like smoke, dust or fire is a really challenging task. Thinking Particles comes with an atmospheric particle renderer and as you can see it's lightning fast. It creates really nice details. It is a true atmospheric effect. It works with the scanline renderer. It works with fine render and many other renderers as well. It's a lightning fast renderer. It does all the effects you expect from an atmospheric renderer, including self-illumination, shadow casting and color mixing. To show you how fast this thing really is, I'll just turn on render the sequence and you will see. We need about zero seconds for a frame, including self shadows, casting shadows, transparencies, atmospheric mixing, increasing count of particles, simulations. So that includes everything. Nothing is pre-recorded. So we are doing the simulation and rendering at the same time at a speed of a second right now. And the more particles you get, yes, it will uh, slow down a little bit. Then you might take need two seconds or maybe even three seconds. But as you can see, this is pretty amazing and great what we can do here with Thinking Particle Subscription Drop Tool. We have a highly optimized atmospheric effect that is really blazing fast. And this speed allows us to set up this effect in a really efficient way. I turn back to a single frame and let's just render this single frame as it is. And we can see these nice self shadowing, these nice structures in our uh, dust effect. And now we are going to change, uh, to change just one parameter. 
So we're changing the density of our atmospheric effect. I'll reduce the density by half and we render again and then you will see the densities are reduced. It gets softer now. Let's overdo the effect a little bit more and reduce the density to five. Now it becomes much more transparent. This is the power you get with Thinking Particle Subscription Drop 2. A very fast atmospheric particle renderer, a new fluid system that allows you to create fire, smoke, dust effects in really no time at all. It's very flexible and powerful. It's particle based. And if you want to learn more, check out our other videos on the net as well. Thanks for watching.